This is a quick look at just the general technology um, comparison of uh, CCTV video magnifiers to optical character recognition solutions for people who have low or no vision. Really quickly, CCTV may stand for closed circuit television and it may be used in security today, but that's not what we in the low vision community refer to it as. We refer to a CCTV as a basically think of it as um, a magnifier where the viewing where you actually view the text on your TV as opposed to viewing it through a glass through an optical magnifying glass these come in two forms actually both of these come in two forms um, which are desktop and portable excuse me the desktop units can vary in weight anywhere anywhere between I'd say maybe 15 to 30 pounds um, but we'll get into that. Um, in, in what these technologies have in common is they make printed material available to people who cannot see it in the case of optical character recognition or cannot see very well without it. Um, in the case of both optical character recognition technology and CCTV video magnification, uh, we will see that OCR is a little bit more versatile and we'll get to that in a moment. But the beautiful part about both of these technologies is that um, you are able to use regular printed books. You do not need to wait for specialist materials, um, which I think is just is fantastic. Uh, you can go down to your library, and if you want to do audiobooks on CD, that's fine. But if you want to do something like, um, like let's say you want to find something that's not on CD, not in the NLS, not in Bookshare, but it is at your local library, you know this this technology right here the CCTV and OCR right there that is what's able to make this possible uh, you can go in with your CCTV sit down at a table at the library read through a book or you know if you have a portable OCR solution in the cases of the Intel reader and the um, and the KNFB reader or maybe even a portable scanner hooked up to a netbook uh, like a little flatbed uh, deal you can go ahead and scan in and take a look and that's what I love about this technology. It makes regular printed text accessible to people who can't see it very well. So both of these magnify text. The CCTV cannot read text back to you, obviously. Now, why would you want it to read back text to you if you can see? Well, optical character recognition is actually meant for three types of people. One, it's meant for low vision. It's meant to, it's meant for uh, people who are totally blind, hence the read back. And three, if you, have a if you have a reading disability such as dyslexia, you can go in and have it read to you as you follow along on the printed screen. And it helps to, it helps to absorb that information. And not just people with dyslexia. Um, if I remember correctly, um, I'm going through training to become a teacher. And if there's one thing I believe in, and if I remember reading in one of my textbooks, um, the multi-sensory multi -sensory approach is good for everyone. It's kind of like having th different activities in a classroom uh, where you use like a hands-on, written, and reading approach. You're stimulating all the senses to get the information in. Well, optical character recognition for people with, um, with uh, dyslexia, it, it, it stimulates both their visual and audible auditory senses and you know so I can see that optical character recognition can have a vast um, or technology like it that allows text to be read back and shown at the same time um, which is one component of optical character recognition but technology like that component is a definitely a benefit to people with dyslexia and that it, or other reading disabilities and that is something that the CCTV cannot do CCTV can also not, they, some portable units can store text, some cannot, most cannot. Um, and they, if they do store text, it's only temporary. In other words, the second you switch it off, um, it'll go away. Unless you have one of the two, either the SenseView Duo or the Optilect FarView, 
that allow for the storage of um, of pictures, but even then it's it's um, confined to the device. Whereas with optical character recognition solutions, you can back it up to your computer or a hard drive, and you can have it as you know you can have it protected in case something happens, and you need to access that material in a hurry. You know, let's say you have a portable solution with you, you forget your textbook, well, you've got it on your reader, boom. Um, and that also reduces the weight in your backpack. Back up to PC. Oh, we already covered that. Um, screen size, two and a half inches to, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna change this to, say, 30. Because some can hook up to a TV. Um... Some can hook up to a PC monitor, in which case your monitor will be sharing the screen with your um, with your PC. The CCTV and PC would be sharing the same monitor, but it can also be hooked up. Some can be hooked up to a TV, and those can go up to 30 inches. I have yet to see a 30-inch computer monitor, though. An optical character recognition, if it's not in a portable package, is tied down to your computer um, because you need a flatbed scanner in order to make it work or some you know something to capture the text and flatbed scanner will be the most common um, tractor feed scanner if you have a uh, just a single sheet of paper 27 and a half inch because of the iMac runs Windows you can hook up your scanner to your iMac when it's running Windows 27 and a half inch screen perfect for viewing it um, high contrast both of them offer that both technologies um, both of them use regular books. As I said earlier, you can just walk into your library, take a regular book off the shelf, and scan it in, or take a picture of it, or view it with your CCTV, your portable one, and, you know, just enjoy, enjoy the book, just like any other person who's fully sighted would. Um, 5 ounces to 30 pounds in weight for the CCTV, 1 to 15 for the, um, scanners and the OCR solutions. Pricing between five hundred and four thousand dollars for the magnifiers, and for the OCR packages, it could be anywhere between one hundred to two thousand dollars. It all depends on what you get, but this is just a general technology overview. Um, if there's anything I forgot, please let me know. But this is an overall view of the technology. I think that if you want something more versatile, that optical character recognition may be the way to go. If you need to write, however, then the CCTV is pretty much your only option if you have low vision because um, or some similar magnifier because OCR you can't you can't write with it you can only read so um, that's pretty much it thank you for watching comments are welcome and have